It was a great day to be a Beaver. Not only was it graduation in Corvallis, but the OSU baseball team was also home to host its first NCAA Super Regional since 2018. That also happens to be the last time the Beavs won it all for their third national title. Fox 12's Nick Krupke was at Goss Stadium for Game 1 in the Best of 3 series against Auburn, where some local OSU parents were hanging on to every pitch for the Orange and Black. Oregon State has played it safe at home for the Super Regionals. Also has about 12 homegrown players from the Beaver State, rooted right here in the Orange and Black. There's a lot of birds with a feather here. I mean, a lot of the same... Um, beavers of a tail. Beavers of a tail. <laughs> Go Go beavers. It's all the family in Beaver Nation. They prepare the kids, they turn them into men when they're done, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Go beavers. It's double the pleasure for Nicole and Derek Ducart of Lake Oswego, who have not just one, but both of their sons, Jake and Thomas, suiting up for Benny and the Beavers. They just wanted to be together at the end of the day, and they've loved it and um, support each other, and um, for us, it makes it great. Enjoy the ride. Goes quick. Go Beavs. Go Beavs. Rick Sean and Rick Verberg know that as well. As their son out of Lake Oswego, Mitchell, is in his sixth season. He knew this team had a shot, right. and he was so excited to come back with this team, and that's why he came back. It's been a little emotional, just kind of every time we come down, like this could be his last game here. Hosting Super Regionals for the first time in four years, there are plenty of first time families agonizing over every pitch and play. Just ask Mary Dernetti. Nerves. You know, I have my um, little things that I make sure that I don't watch when he goes up to bat. And <laughs> I just give him lots of love and say a lot of prayers when he's up to bat. The Dernettis have worn a path on I-5 South from their home in Tualatin to watch their son, sophomore Kyle Dernetti, on O State's road to Omaha. Their little boy dreams, right? I mean, people want to play baseball at Oregon State, and it's not an easy thing to do. Um, you know, to, to all the hard work and, and the commitment that it takes to, to realize something like this. Jaron Hunter started at Sam Barlow High, just like his mom, Shalina, and big brother, Nate. They just keep moving on, and it's like, you know, your heart's racing, and they can do it. So is the calendar open next week if there needs to be a trip absolutely to Nebraska? It absolutely, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is ready to go. We got the, we got the truck with the baggage in it ready to go. Ready to head out it's little... like you're having a baby. Oh, man, <laughs> we're ready. Redshirt freshman Brian Brown is the talented righty out of South Salem and the pride of Shannon and Chris Brown. There's parents that come from Canada. There's parents that come from Arizona. Uh, the Chirpies come up here every, every weekend from California, the Mecklers. Yeah. We're lucky. We just take, you know, 40, 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Go to work, come to a game. Go to work, yeah. come to another game. Go like Beavs! Like Lee and Amy Lawson from Hillsborough are working for the weekend, too. Their sophomore kid out of Century High. There are a lot of miles, and luckily we just bought a hybrid, so <laughs> <laughs> we did save a little cash on uh, the fuel. All of us parents will look at each other during the game, high five, and, you know, just cheering each other, uh, our families on. So. Nothing better. Oh, yeah. It means the world to us, and it means the world to these players. The Beavers' big family will know after the weekend if they have to make that trek to Omaha for opening ceremonies on Friday in Nebraska. In Corvallis, Nick Krupke, Fox of Oregon.